Is it fine? Okay, because the way I've set it up is that it's constantly running. Because you know, Discord has this thing where it tries to detect when your mic is on, when you're talking or not, and then it turns off the audio off or on. The problem is when, at least with my old mic, which was technically my my my, my webcam, not, not a dedicated mic. But the problem was that it would it wouldn't work, and I, I noticed that when I watched back the streams, that it would just constantly like cut off, and that was Discord basically turning off my audio. I, I, I've not finished my sentences or something. And that's why I have that turned off because I don't trust it. it just gets it wrong. <coughs> Let me reload this thing. It's still not on YouTube. Oh, it is. It's on the front. Is it? It's loading for me, let's see. It's all like the stream, obviously. Oh yeah, I can hear myself now. Right, I'm gonna mute the stream though. <laughs> uh, but I here think we are. Yeah. We're in. Hey everybody, welcome to another Nga stream. Technically Nga stream number thirty-three, but definitely do not go back and count the number of streams I've done. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am here with uh, with special guest Eternal. Um, as you may have seen from many of our previous live streams, we have some real shenanigans whenever uh, whenever coding and programming gets involved. Um, so we figured in this in this moderately stressful time of my life where I'm currently like uh, in the process of moving, um, yes, get ready to say goodbye to the current like background and setup. Um, I'm moving, so that's happening soon. But I figured that this this would be an entertaining time, and Eternals like, hey, we got to do this. So here we are, it's happening. So I'm gonna switch over and get open good old good good old VS Code, and we're going to begin our 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 lovely lovely quest. Let me get the thingy open. Sure. There we go. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so, we're in. I suppose the first we thing that we, we're gonna do is add the link for to for the national page and also fix the i the the YouTube video because it's the wrong video right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got a, a few people being all. Uh, we've got some first ones here. We got Agama San notice me, um, <laughs> noticed Uwu. Hey there, Hayden. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So let's do it. Let's let's make the Notion page a reality. Sure. Do you know where it is? Because <laughs> <laughs> I assume it's in www. Exactly. Um, now you need to find what all the links are. Oh. Um. Well. Well. Wait. Hang on a second. So it should be. In yeah, languages. The page, the page itself is in there. That's the, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I suppose we can fix the the iframe first. So the yes. way do you know how to get the iframe for a video? It's been a bit, but I think so. You can go to the YouTube video. Yeah. And so. then, uh, you know where all these but where the dislike button and the like button, all that stuff is at the very. Uh, there's the save button. No, it's not save. What is it? It's this share button. You need to click on share. Oh, go go to need, it. Let me get rid of the little timestamp just in case. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I uh, would hope not. <laughs> really good. Right. You click on share. And then as as embed. Nice. And then just copy that. All right. Delicious. And then. Uh, Paste it below the current member because we're going to change some things. So paste it just below the div or something doesn't really matter. Oh, below the whole thing. Yeah. So because we need to change a oh, few. Oh God. Okay, first of all, we'll need to break it a bit. So just put a few breaks between the attributes. <laughs> they fit in one line. There we go. It's better. Nice. <laughs> right. So uh, as you can see, the first thing we can get rid of the width and height because that's taken care of by our CSS. Yeah. Very nice. Get out of here. Add a class of YouTube dash video. Class. And so we have equals. And then what is that? YT dash video. Yep. Nice. Uh, anything else here? 
Yeah, that's pretty much it, I suppose. And then you can replace the other iframe with it. So just delete the other one and move it into the div. Is that and that it? Should... Yeah, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, that seems to be it. It's, it's been a while since I last set this up, so... Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> right, the right. format is a bit questionable, but it's fine, I suppose. But there we go. All right, so that thing is correct. Don't All forget right. to save it. Yes. All right, and now what else we need? That's everything that needs fixing on here, I think. Unless you want to change, like, the, the H2 or something at the top. Uh... Yeah, it's it, it's fine. It's fine right now. Um, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, we, well, we can s switch things up later on. <laughs> it's gonna be a bloodbath. I just read your description. It's brilliant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that's everything in here, isn't it? I scroll down a bit, maybe. Let's just see. I think. It yeah, is. that's the right thing. I think it is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I can okay. expand the page whenever I actually have time. Sure. <laughs> Now we still need to add a link to that, yes. and the link uh, you would would know that is it's in SRV and it's okay. that, no, no not in that one. Oh. There's two in <laughs> www. There's also an SRV folder. Of course, there is down here. Yeah, and it's in header.html. That's like the the nav bar and everything. Okay, and you find where all the languages links are. Yep, and just, just add one, one there, preferably alphabetically. Oh God. <laughs> Let's see. And I believe it comes after Gumsmack. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> All right. And so just change everything to Notion. Notion <laughs> page <laughs> underscore Notion and then... capitalized Notion. Exactly. Look at that. I Epic Gaming. Epic Gaming right there. Yeah, and now you can start the server and it should be on there. All right, cool. So uh, still test directory. Maybe we go up a few, like four directories. Oh God! All right, we're gonna get out of here. We're doing it. All right. Um, now what do we need to do? Um, are we just gonna build right now? No, we don't need to rebuild. Uh, we just need to start the server. You only need to rebuild if you change the server itself. That's the C plus plus. Ah, I see. I see. So. <laughs> What is that now? The www? Yes. Yeah. Let me just look at the exact shape of what that looks like. There we go. Dot <clears> slash <throat> www dash start dot. Also tab to also complete. There you go. This is true. All right. We got local host moment. Local mm -hmm. host moment. Oh, success. And we you have. Just in case. Oh, hey, in there. there it is. Noshin it's right there. Good. And we the correct video it. thumbnail is in the description. There we go. Ugh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> there we go. So that's that, I suppose. Nice. Very nice. Now, also, our next step is to uh, is to create a uh, thing for um, a thing for a secret handshake. Yes. Also, fun fact, uh, because the chap doesn't know this, because originally the, the entire stream was going to be adding the Nation page, but as it turns out, I already did that, or Agma did it actually, and then I fixed it mostly, and that was the only thing that needed changing, so... <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great. So how would you add a page to this? So I'm guessing I'm just going to slide on right over to this languages section right here. Yeah. Maybe right click it and say like new file and call it secret handshake.html. Uh, if you do that, the URL is going to be secret. Do you want to have a dash in between secret handshake? Maybe? Yes. Yes, secret I do. That's what the URL is going to be. The URL is then is going to is the file name without the .html. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And that's where you can literally just copy the not the contents of the Nation page and then change a few things again. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Control A. Mhm. Mm All right. Here we go. Paste moment. All right. Now it's time to get the uh, the secret handshake video. Yeah. Okay. This is going swimmingly. Absolutely going swimmingly. Well. You're gonna have to change the server to fix the page name, but you can do it. I extra I wrote the, <laughs> like I have a. I made this entire domain specific language just to make this easier. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know about you guys and the audience, but like I get recommended 
uh, the Jan Measley Here's Tree video, like, constantly. <laughs> like, it literally oh, never goes away. <laughs> anyway. Also, uh, Tux said, imagine not using Notepad and Windows Explorer. That's a bad idea. Uh, Windows Explorer, I mean, maybe you mean Internet Explorer, but it doesn't work on Internet Explorer, by the way. I suppose Windows Explorer for the files, but just so you know, because you mentioned Windows Explorer, it doesn't work on Internet Explorer. <laughs> because I'm not trying to, I'm not trialing to support Internet Explorer. I'm not doing that. I'm not dealing with that. If you still use Internet Explorer, then you're in the wrong decade. <clears throat> oh my god. Internet Explorer. All right, all right, let's make a little embed real quick. I mean, I used to use Internet Explorer for way longer than I should have, so... <laughs> I I think I I stopped using Internet Explorer really early on. Like mm -hmm. I, I think uh, I I think it was like oh god. I think I was probably like twelve or something. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe like eleven whenever I I got rid of a got rid of it and switched to the old Chrome. I see, I see. Class E oh god equals um why yeah, okay. T dash video. Inside the double quotes. Oh crap! <laughs> Hang on a second. Ooh, woo. it's really easy to double type on this keyboard. I'm not used to having like an actually good keyboard. All right, oh, God. there we go. And everybody else is Gucci, so you can. Do a live stream, maybe. Yeah. There we go. We should be good. Nice. And the right. is level, but that doesn't matter right now. Now I'm going to change this H2 up here. We're going to call it Secret oh, yeah. Handshake. Um, oh, God. Uh, what, what, what was my subtitle for it? It was like uh, a visual uh, slash tactile language for oh, uh, gossip <laughs> or, or something like that. Something like that that will do. Yeah, very sure. nice. Um... Uh, now, um, now the description has to be changed, obviously. Yeah, there's no phonology in quotation marks for <laughs> secret handshake, as we can see. <laughs> you know, <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> um, <laughs> which I just said I have myself <laughs> by tapping my thumb like that. <laughs> um, it's an easy language to learn. I'm making a memorized course for it. There's already like 20 lessons on there. Yeah, you um, mentioned that. Yeah, they only have like two hundred something words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, God. Um, anyway, so here, let me let me do a basic thing in here. <laughs> Just gonna copy a video description or something. That's an um, option. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Oh and God, like... that was a joke, but all right, you could do that. <laughs> Oh, oh god yeah actually yeah because i don't really have anything helpful in the video description because it was supposed to be a secret at first um, oh god yeah that's true yeah so i'll say like uh the secret handshake abbreviated as sh is oh god language no, sh is the, <laughs> sh sh executable is the original bond shell and it's about as readable as secret handshake transcription is oh the source God. code of the original bond shell written by stephen bond well, it was written in c but he had but he used so many preprocessor macros that it looked like algol because he didn't like c it is horrifying to look at <laughs> like it has do and odd at the end like do ends with odd <laughs> it with c and so on like it's a sight to behold I'll, I'm just going to keep this rather basic. Is a language created by Agnes Schwein, 2022. Um, intended to be a rather uh, a grammatically simple, I'll, I'll call it grammatically simple. Grammatically. Simple. Yeah. A grammatically simple mini lang that can be communicated by pulsing. Oh god. Pulsing fingers language. of one hand. Oh god, I need to hit enter. Yeah. 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 Somewhere up <laughs> that, preferably. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Can be communicated by push pulsing the fingers of one hand. Um, in oh god. Different sequences and patterns in order 
to create meaning. There we go. Also, uh, Kokyoin said, do should end with please stop. Uh, there's a program in language called Intercal, which stands for compile a language with no pronounceable acronym. <laughs> And the pro the, the way you exit the program is you write please give up. <laughs> oh yeah, the please give up. I oh, forgot so about that. Also, yes, has CSS. Well, it technically has SCSS, but yes, it has a lot of CSS. Oh my god. <laughs> um, it's it's uh... all CSS, it's all CSS, JavaScript, and HTML, or more precisely, SCSS, TypeScript, and HTML. And also Lua for some reason. We have inline Lua that gets processed by the server. Best web, best web framework ever, I know. <laughs> I was going to end the JavaScript, but working with V8 is just too much of a hassle. Lua is very easy, easy to embed, <laughs> even though I don't like it as a language. <clears throat> <laughs> Up to two. Uh Oh god, fingings. Yes, the fingings. That's like, I was saying that was like hatonyms. <laughs> fingings are vital to this. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so. Um, oh god, what happened to the letter B in here? Am I not scrolled to the beginning? There we go. Um, I've heard, yeah, I, I've, I've heard of Malbos. I've watched a lot of Trottle 1 videos. I know you're a mod in his Discord, so yeah, I'm quite familiar with that lens myself. <laughs> There's a lot of very interesting programming languages out there, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there are. I, I haven't even I haven't even witnessed the, the depths of it slightly. Oh yeah, I think I showed Intercal to you at some point, but you've probably just forgotten about it. Just it's, But it's better that way, trust me, it's better not to know about it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> For the sake of your own sanity. <laughs> Like, Intercal is the equivalent, it's like the programming equivalent of like Hyper Pirate or something, or Gumsmack. Oh, yeah, no, you have showed it to me. Remember that one, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's, I, I remember it now. <laughs> an experience for sure. I was going to write an, an Intercal compiler, uh, an Intercal just for fun, but uh, I like immediately. <laughs> Gave up on that because the way that arithmetic works in that language is just too horrible. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> oh my god, it's legendary. All right, now I just Wait. need to get I'll change a few things in there. Yeah. Uh, just the occurrence of Nashin to secret handshake, uh, probably without a hyphen in this case because it's just yeah. idea that doesn't really matter. All right. Oh, oh, I forgot. Tab doesn't do that in here. <laughs> All right. Open tab and we'll call it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Let me do it. Let me do it. There we go. Secret handshake. Not in all caps, please. Oh, God. Because that won't work. Different ID. They're case sensitive. <laughs> and it actually doesn't matter what this is called. The only thing that it matters is that's the same as this ID down there where it says Nash and Docs. I see how it is. Oh, God, the don't, really, don't really matter, actually. You could just leave them as Nashin, but still. <laughs> oh, yeah, we might want to fix that typo. That's like area label. Who's ever going to see that? Let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. Like, who's That's ever like going to notice? Something. I'm, I'm not very good at web development, but yeah, who's ever going to see that? But still, you can change the name of the page. And most importantly, don't forget to change the ID to Nashin, to Secret Handshake Docs. Yeah, uh, let me, <laughs> let me uh, get that link real quick. <clears throat> because that ID has to be the same as the one where it says open tab. That's the whole point of this thing. Yeah. Why are you using JavaScript to replace a link? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, God. What do you mean? Using JavaScript <laughs> to replace a link? What is? What do you mean? Oh, God. Open oh, tab God. does not open a new browser tab, by the way. It opens something. It's, it's, just, it's a different kind of tab. I'll show you. Oh, we can God. see that on the on the, on the origin page, but in this case, it's, it doesn't really. We don't really need the tabs. It's just for the functioning. Okay. Interesting. All right. Well, that that should be everything on this for now. Again. Mm -hmm. Also, you can might want to fix the typo on the Nation page. Yeah. yeah. And you still need to rename the ID to Secret Handshake at Docs. Oh God, I missed one. Save the page. Go back to Secret Handshake. 
Yeah. On like 35, that's the most important one. Without that one, it's not gonna work. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> most important one. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't. We don't that's nonsense. We don't need it. That's the that's that's the one we actually need. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. So I think that's ready. We also need to add a link to it. Yep. And we need to uh, because the the way the page names work. Uh, they're auto-generated based on the name of the file, and it's just the file name with the first letter capitalized. So we'll have to change that in the server itself. We can set the page name there. Oh boy! That means you have to recompile the server every time you want to change a page name, but that doesn't—it's not really a problem. So uh, I'm going to call that a non-problem. <clears throat> uh, you need good. to put the header. Yeah. Yep. And just add header. Another. It's actually going to be the bottom one on here now. If we're going it. Oh, it is. Yeah. Order. Nice. Santa's no longer at the bottom. It's now just a part of the mix of all the cursedness. There we go. Secret hand. Please shape. stop with that. Uh, by the way, chat, no XSS attacks, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, will time you out if I can do that? Or, or mute you something if you do that? <laughs> Unless you don't have a problem with it, but it, I think... Uh, Whoever made this app made it at least somewhat secure, so it's not a big problem, but still. <laughs> it kind of it kind of makes me want to uh, experiment with other uh, live streaming softwares. Yeah. Just just, just in case, because that's a little sus. But so what's, and, your it, it, what's your policy on that? Should we allow that or not? Because uh, I don't think it's too big of a problem, but it's not a good idea. I think. In general. As long as as long as we can still read what's going on, it's fine. Okay. So yeah. if you said this, if you all said, I'm not going to give any examples because, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But within within reason. reason. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that is fine, I suppose. Now we need to change the name of the page in the server. So you need to go to the server. All right, the actual <laughs> server. Yes. <clears throat> All right. Um, it's in source. The server itself, the server executables are in source. All right. Guess which one? Um, www. Yes, yes, and uh, we need to scroll up a bit. You're at the end of the file. Aha. Uh -huh. It says page name, just add another entry. <laughs> okay. All right, we're just going to copy that. Yeah. This is valid C. You don't want to know how this is valid C. It involves macros and operator overloading. It is absolutely cursed, but yeah. <laughs> What's why, the why is... change background color? I'm not telling you, and I'm, I'm going to time you out if you do that, or whatever it's called on. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> Use and timeout, it is. <laughs> So wait, so why is why is this one white while the others are blue? Uh, ignore it. <clears throat> yeah, it is white because you. No, ignore it. Doesn't matter. Uh, just change that to HTML languages slash secret handshake. Ah. Uh, to say just yeah, instead of tools SCA, it has to be languages. <clears throat> languages slash secret handshake. And you Maybe. Back so that it lines up and then change it to secret handshake. That's how you change the page name. <laughs> All right. Now I need to recompile the server for this and don't forget to save the file. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, I'm guessing I need to server. control C out of that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, do I need to build now or no? You need to rebuild it, yes, because it yeah. changed the server itself. I it's see. in server. The build script is in server. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Here we go, and build. All right, let it be, let it be, you don't break. Build that, so let's start. Because the actual server, like the, the main code that runs the server is, is a library, so it just needs to rebuild that file, link to it, and that's that. <clears throat> okay. There we go, and now back up and restart. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Let's do this. This is this is all quite revolutionary happening right now. All right, and so now we need slash www start uh, up up again. No tab tab completed. You don't have to type that every time. Just uh, tab. <laughs> you know you what? <clears throat> We're following the link. We're opening it up. Come on, come on. There we go. And secret <clears throat> handshake. Doesn't fit. <laughs> God damn it. 
Yeah, it doesn't fit. Look at that. Uh, whatever. <laughs> That's a less trivial problem to fix. I mean, it's probably not the worst, but still. Delicious. Talk to Let's, the hand. That should probably do it differently. Uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> there we go. Because someone was asking why I was... What that open tab thing was. Could you go to languages origin so we can show that? I yeah. think it's is it still on there, I wonder. Let's find out. Let's find out. It's... No, it isn't actually. Okay. But what this was is this entire documentation container. This is actually, you can tell, you can add tabs to that container, and then you can select between them. And we have that here. We have the old grammar in here, but it's no longer in here. So that's what that is. Anyway. Interesting. <clears throat> All right. Well, that went up by surprisingly smoothly. Yeah, that, that, that seems to have worked just fine. Very and cool. the page name is correct, as you can see. The page name is the one that you have in both the title bar and the H1 at the top, where like, the big white text at the top is the H1. Yeah, exactly. All right, very good. You know, I was uh, at, at work, I was trying to make like a, a login portal for some other website visible on the site I use for work. And it turned out that the the website I was trying to make have just like a little iframe on my site for, uh-huh. um, it was a uh, the there was like some kind of code built into the website that does that like prevents people from using their site as an iframe. <laughs> it, it, it was really yeah. annoying. I forgot what it was called, but I was like <laughs> trying to do all these workarounds. I was like, why can't I make a goddamn iframe oh, out of this link? Cause, cause. That's called cause. You were getting a cause error, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's I think so. <laughs> that's but one yeah. of the words about programming. It, it it's called cross-origin resource sharing. It's not allowed because it's on a different origin. That's It's brilliant. <laughs> It's it, it was know, brutal. Such a mess between like cause and CSP are the two worst things, honestly. <laughs> I, I, I thought I thought it was like such an epic gamer, like like because I was about to like show off what like what I've learned like yeah. from our coding experiences so far, and like to to my boss at work, she was like, oh yeah, could you put this uh, login portal on this spot? And I was like, yeah, I could do that <laughs> easy. And then I went in and I was like, but I'm doing it right. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, no, you can add, oh, you have to add, you probably make a custom form that then just redirects to that or something. I see, I, I see. You can, oh, wow, some... there's two people on the secret handshake document right now. Oh, Which God. Interesting. <laughs> there, there, there were people on it as I was updating it a couple days ago, and I kind of felt, oh. like, nervous. I was like, oh, God, they're watching me as I... As I make changes to my own language that I've already done the showcase <laughs> on. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. All right, very cool. <laughs> okay. Right, that's that. That no, was quick. Oh my God, Tux has the ro- the the text panning across the screen over there. <laughs> Tux Tux is trying a marquee tag. Does this still work? That's a good question because this has been obsolete for like how long? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it still works. It works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Got a marquee tag. Jeez, I haven't seen that in a while. There's also a blink tag, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. Jeez. Oh, God. Uh, anyway, what were we doing now? So what, what's the next thing to do? The next thing was, since the Conlang Hunger Games simulator has blown up so much, we were going to go onto uh, the page for the Conlang Hunger Games simulator and maybe give like a brief explanation of how to add events onto it. Uh, we're actually going to make an a, a UI for adding events, even. Oh, God. Should we try when that? Wait. Hey, you want to try that? Only if you want to. <laughs> how, how brutal do you think that's going to be? Uh, it's probably not going to be the worst, though. Are we going to do that in HTML or in JavaScript, I wonder? Hmm. I haven't really planned this out, just so you know. <laughs> <clears throat> well... I suppose uh... I can... Where where would our starting point be? Will we start in the HTML? Oh, in the JavaScript. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to take a look at how the other dialogues are done because I think they're still... Also, the dialogues are still using the old API, so that's that. <coughs> I think we're going to have to do it in, in JavaScript. Let me... Oh, it's asking for a password. Let me see if this code is somewhat readable. <clears throat> uh, let's just go to like add or something. Uh, let me 
me find that. It's game UI, we can add it to that, I suppose. <clears throat> I suppose it's not the worst thing, yeah. We could do that. Uh... <laughs> oh god. Where's the events display events here? Let me go. Uh... <laughs> Open event dialog. This is not the worst thing, you know? This could work. It could work? So, basically, um, uh, <laughs> what we'd have to do is just add a pop-up where you can, I suppose, put an event, and then it adds that, right? What do you mean? Uh, uh, you, what, if we go to the, the, the Hunger Games simulator and then add a button there, you click on it, it opens a dialog with the UI for adding an event. <clears throat> Yeah, that that's probably the best. Um, well, let's let's go to uh, org real quick. Or I could just literally type in Hunger Games Simulator, since Nga org <laughs> is just known to be a, a Hunger Games simulator nowadays. <laughs> it was literally the second search result on DuckDuckGo. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, yeah. yeah. So, so we have like you have like the edit events thing here already. Mm -hmm. Right, so in yeah, edit events, you could probably just add there. another button or change uh, something. Name add to upload or something, and then uh, add another button that says add. Yeah, because it, it wants to submit like JSON. files anyway. So we want so basic. The way. Yeah, <clears throat> you have to upload a JSON file basically. Yeah, so basically the goal is to make it so that you don't have to upload a JSON file, and that there can just be a thing you type in in here. Yeah, essentially, uh, you will have, I think we need three boxes, one for the message. If you look at the events, it says, the, the, or the message template, I suppose, which is yeah. a F-like syntax. I should probably document the syntax somewhere because it can, <clears throat> it's like complicated. We can do like pronouns and everything. <laughs> like that uh, way, yeah. and G zero, that means the genitive of uh, player zero. Oh God. <clears throat> so, Oh, I see what you mean. There it is. The G zero. Yeah. Perc yeah. Percent zero steps off percent G zeros podium too soon and it blows up. Okay. There's also more things because you know, there's is and are and also uh, die and dies. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see, like where it says zero attacks one, but, uh, and one man. Yeah. Where it says percent S one. <laughs> And that's going to be singular if player one is singular and plural if player one is plural. Because, you know, they is also an option. And then, Actually, and then what's, what's yeah. exclamation point one? That's a good question. What was that? <laughs> uh, let, me, let me check. It's in the source code somewhere. See, Zero that, that was a part back. So the exclamation mark is aren't or isn't. Oh, I get it. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. Interesting. So what what would we do for that then? Would we have to uh, basically just include like a list of instructions for what each of them mean? Or yes, maybe... that's one thing. Uh, that's uh, like a li I would put a list of top. Maybe we could do that in the ad dialog. I suppose that will work, or somewhere else. Uh, and also add a a dialogue with probably like three input boxes, one for the message and at the right way it says deaths and killers. That's also important because it's not, you don't just automatically know who killed whom just from the message. Yeah. We have to teach it to read English and that's a bit difficult. <laughs> it's also impossible. Uh, if you scroll down a bit, because these are all non-fatal events, like where it says like zero, one, like player yeah. one died and player zero killed player one and so on, or players three, four and five died and players Zero, one, and two killed them, and so yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So we basically have to add a UI with three boxes and the button where you, you know, two buttons or something. And the way you do dialogues in like this web framework, if you can call it that, is you'd have to do everything in JavaScript in this case. Oh God. <clears throat> okay. And but but again, that's to like create like an easy thing. For people to then type in whatever they try and yes, click exactly. add. Yes, or... exactly. They don't have to upload a goddamn file. Yeah. What happened? How come you, these are all like check boxes? Like you can't even. Oh, 
I just unchecked one of them. The checkboxes themselves are a bit broken, I think. You have to click on the text. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, something is wrong there. I don't know what. I should probably fix that. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, you can enable and disable any of them. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure whenever the uh, Owl House YouTuber ZZVOV G2 did the, uh, did the Owl House Hunger Games... I think they just deleted all the <laughs> all the conlang related ones that they didn't understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I suppose most people don't get them. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Now, right at the, all the way at the bottom, <clears throat> I should probably like where it says list. I have this concept of different lists of events, it, which is completely unused. You can't disable or enable a list right now. <laughs> like, but it's there theoretically. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god flagrant mergers resulting in widespread homophony <laughs> this is wild I, I i love all those ones that we made with big lang yeah <laughs> oh god What's what called? is happening legendary the <laughs> hello chat an H1 and H2 text. God damn Yeah. It. Great, great. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> All right. So where do we even begin with this? Where do we even begin with this? I suppose we could begin by adding <clears throat> uh, a dialogue for that. Okay. So for that you have to go the, into JS. Where's JS at? Oh, there no, we it's go. not in the HTML folder. JS tools and then open Hunger Games Simulator .ts. Okay. This is the entire Hunger Games Simulator. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, that's a big boy. It goes on for a while, yeah. Jeez, all right. 1,566 lines. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so maybe uh, the, the the files maybe push them a bit to the left so that you can so that the code has more space and uh, maybe close the terminal. We don't need it right now. Uh, just on the yeah, just pull it all the way down. You can pull it all the way down. I think. Oh God. No, there we go. <clears throat> so uh, the best place to add this, I suppose, would be with all the other functions that to handle the events dialog. And for that, you can just search for const ui capital ui okay const ui base capital ui Let's so that's all the, the the all the functions that we care about the ui Woo. Um, you can just add it in there somewhere i suppose like literally anywhere not literally anywhere, but where it says, you see where it says open event dialogue, that's one function. And then yeah. if you go down, uh, all the way, you can tell by the indentation where it says display events, that's another function, and so on. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> right now we have load add events, which basically just uh, upload, takes care of uploading a file. Yep, we're in here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go down a bit, I want to see if there's a function called add events, just add events. Otherwise, we're going to call it that probably. Add multi-files. Yeah, that's something someone else added, by the way. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I, I mentioned I think, a while back how someone wanted to contribute, and that's what they did. So oh, that's nice. it. Uh, we can add an add events function. I don't think we have one yet, so we can add that somewhere, maybe above load add events or something. Yeah, let's do it right up here. All right, so. Let's follow the naming scheme, so just. Add events, parenthesis, yeah. parenthesis, bracket. And the comma after that, after the closing bracket. Ah. So what yeah. do we need to do in here? How are we gonna do this dialogue? Um, be basic. Do we have any other dialogues that are similar? Let's take a look at that, shall we? Yes. Otherwise, we'll hide, because I have dialogue templates and everything, so we can. I suppose we can also just start from scratch. So. Because the file dialogue is a template, but I don't think I have a template for an input dialogue. 
So I mean, would, wouldn't it be kind of similar to just like one of the Hunger Game character insert things? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can always add it manually. That I suppose would work. So uh, let's just go to them. Let's open a plain dialogue. So if you go back to the the thing to uh -huh. VS Code, I th believe this is a while since I did this, but I think the way to do this is just do dialogue dot open. Dialogue and then dot and then let's see. I think it's lowercase open or uppercase open. I haven't done this in a while. Like and also I've read I've read the dialogue API a while back, so let's see. Alright. There's uh, there's default dialogue, but that's not what we want. Uh let's see, or oh, is it static open? Yes. So it's yeah, it's lowercase open that one. And we need to call that function. And you do that by just putting parentheses at the end. And inside the parentheses we put the configuration, just like where it says open file dialogue, we'll do something similar. Also, please put no space between the function name and the parentheses. Oh god. Wait. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's it's annoying. I don't like it. Uh, and <laughs> in between there, we need to put the configuration, which is just uh, in square brackets. Okay. No, sorry. Braces. <laughs> Why did I say square brackets? That doesn't make no, that doesn't make sense at all. Braces. All right. Okay, just uh, hit enter in the... And now we need to add a few things. See where it says open file dialog a bit below that? Yeah. It's similar to that. Okay. Is it this is very similar to JSON because fun fact, JSON stands for JavaScript object notation. Of course it does. No, no, don't put <laughs> the entire open file dialog thing, the thing inside the open file dialog, the configuration where it says title, colon, select a file, and so on. Oh, I see. Just this whole... Yeah, let's grab that for now. And let's see if we need to change something. Uh, you can delete the preserve extern URLs because that doesn't really matter here. Just delete that line. Nah. And also the input file format, the one above that, that doesn't really matter. All right. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Indentation is a bit off. Maybe indent all the lines properly. Nice. Okay, and put the braces in the same lines as the brackets, like the one on, on 475, put that on 474 and so on. Uh, oh, like this? No, 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 uh, delete, uh, delete the 475 line. Just put it on the same line as the opening parenthesis. That's how I format them. And the same thing with the one below that, the, the, the closing brace. Oh, God. Put that back to... Yeah, like that, and then uh, everything needs to be indented properly. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> you can just select all the lines from title to description and then do shift tab to outdent it. Yeah. And then uh, the closing brace needs to be outdented by also this line 41 outdented twice. There we go. <clears throat> just it's easy to read, like basic formatting and inside of title style, you know, when you go into a, you indent it one more. So everything inside of the close, the, the curly braces and title style, you can indent that by. I see, I see. Oh, oh God. God, what has Benny done? Oh no. No, no. <laughs> what does that even say? In the formatting, the formatting doesn't matter too much. I can fix that for you later. All right. So just so it's, it's remotely readable. Like, yeah. Normally, if you go into a level deeper, which means inside of a level of, of a level of parentheses, you indent it by one. I see. And by one, I mean four spaces. So, so now for title, we don't want it to be select a file anymore. No, we, we can to... like add an event to something. Yeah, we want to be say add event, and then. Um, uh, don't in... change the color. That's fine. And description. Then in description. Uh, it should be like, um, please insert uh, uh, an event. Uh, oh God! Please insert an event uh, following the patterns described below, or something like that. Something like that, yeah, sure. All right. So something like that. <laughs> so this will just open a dialog, but not do anything with it. Yeah. But we can try it out if you'd like. You can save this thing. And because you've edited a TypeScript file, you need to restart the server. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have like live recompilation right now because I'm too lazy. <clears throat> How do I you reopen can the terminal? Uh, 
I think you click somewhere. Maybe just click on your terminal, I don't know. I don't actually know. I don't really use VS Code that much. And now oh, go to the other Maybe just keep it open instead instead of closing it. So just do control C and restart. <clears throat> All right, there we go. And then uh, www. It's the last time I can also just press up. Oh yeah, you're right. There you go. See, it compiles it. And if it, if you do something wrong, you'll get a compiler error here. Nice. <laughs> and now you can go to the page, and we have ah, actually. You can go to the page, but we, we still need to add a button for the thing also. That That is true. Now we can go to the actual HTML page. Which All right. Which is a <laughs> Hunger Games simulator. All right. Where is our Hunger Games simulator HTML? Tools. Tools. And there we go. Also, maybe close like everything to the right of Hunger Games simulator because we don't really need that anymore. At the top, like where all the fi open files are. No, no, no. At the top. No, not that wrong window, in the title bar. In the t oh, all this. Yeah. <laughs> Everything to the right of Hunger Games Simulator just close that. Just leave the two open that we're working on because you don't need the rest of that. This is true. This is very true. All right, get out of here. There we go. But the ones to the left of that as well. <coughs> ah. Don't see that. <laughs> You don't really need that. Okay, sure. <laughs> right, so uh, let's go to the HTML page, shall we? All right, here we are. So you need to scroll down a bit. Nice. Actually, no, yeah, scroll down a bit. Oh, God, there's a lot of things in here. Yeah, yeah, just keep scrolling down. It's right. very, there way it says that. Too far, too far. Go over it. Where it says button on click, blah, blah, blah. Just add another button there. Wait, where does it say button on click? Uh, line 91. Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. just copy the first, uh, or copy the, the line 92 or something. Doesn't really matter. And yeah, okay. because we might want to add a title or something. Uh, yeah, just put that. Yeah, and rename the second line. Hold on. Uh, rename the first one to just add events. The first one? Yeah. All we'll right. put it to the left of that. Remove the faults. It doesn't really matter, but just we don't need it. <laughs> okay. And at the end, rename that. That can stay add events, but in line 93, maybe rename that to upload instead. Otherwise, we'll have two add buttons. I see. <clears throat> All right. Upload. This should be a description because this is shown when you hover over the button. Oh, I see. So maybe like this will upload events if they're not already in the list. There we go. And then... without without the full stop, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All the other ones are without the full stop, so it's fine. Uh, and rename the ad to upload at the end. No, no, no. Yeah. Not that one. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right. So for boot, you don't have to restart the server. You just have to save the page because this doesn't need recompiling. Very cool. And now you can go to the browser and open it, and the button should be there. All right. Come on. There we go. Let's take a look at our most viral web page. All right. Could be in edit events. Uh -huh. There's the add button. If you click add on that, versus upload, add, and oh god. Okay, <laughs> something isn't right. <laughs> Please insert an event following the pattern. The, the background is, is wrong for some reason. Is that really the default background that is cursed? <laughs> oh <my> god, <laughs> it's just invisible. Okay, this is interesting. This is not what should be happening. Is there like a template that I can do somewhere? Because. Come on. Yeah, because all the other ones have the dark yeah, I forgot, I forgot. background. I haven't used this in a while, so bear with me. Uh, let me quickly check what we forgot. Uh, this says events dialog, but that's not what we... This is a file dialog, confirm dialog. What's like the template for this? 
Oh, you really have to put that style in there. Okay, sure, we can do that. Yeah. Um, okay, go to the... Go back to VS Code. All right. We have something similar to this. We have a confirm dialog, which just has a yes, no button. So just search for open confirm dialog in the, in the TypeScript file. Ah. All right, so confirm. Let's see. Yeah, Aha. and... Yeah, now you can control click on that and it should uh, control click on that and it should show you the, def the definition and just uh, copy everything that, like this entire is except for the return. Uh, except for the return. Just oh, oh, oh all this. Uh, that also works, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. And now go back to what to where we were. We were editing ad events, I believe. Called it. Right. Well, I just pay, uh, maybe paste that below somewhere and then we'll see what we need to replace. Just something like that. Yes. <laughs> uh, we have a few duplicates here so we can remove the title. The second one, it should warn you when there's a duplicate and the second description. Uh, no, don't remove that second description. And we need to put a comma after at the end of line 40, uh, 480. Mm -hmm. And maybe fix the indentation. Oh, God. Like in indent all of that nonsense by not that much. Yes, that much. <laughs> Just select all of them and select okay. lines 40, 483 to, yeah. And the thing 484, 485 should actually be indented one more because they're inside another set of braces. You can just put the cursor at the, at the front of the line or something. Just click anywhere at the front of the line and just hit tab. Oh, really? Same thing with 447 and 478. Uh, 477, 478, actually. Oh, God. Just click uh, somewhere in front of them and hit tab or something. In front of, like, you need to click before the text. Tab, not space. That was tab. What just happened? Okay, you need to line. Okay, delete until you get the text. Delete, delete. <laughs> okay, good God. Press, yes, press that once and now tab. You need to actually line it up with a tab and then press tab and not just click randomly. Oh God. So selecting the line might be easier. Why, did it, no. why is it doing that? Because you're clicking in the middle of a tab. And it actually inserts four spaces, not tab. <laughs> there we go. All right. Anyway. So that should do it. And... See, the root style is the style of the main <coughs> dialog box, and below that, accept and cancel are the two buttons. You might maybe want to rename them to uh, add and cancel or something. Not that, no, not that, the string next to that. Uh, if you rename that, it's going to cause a problem. I see. <laughs> I see. I see yeah. how it is. Like that. <laughs> and now you can save, restart the server, reload the page. Save. All right, get out of here and back to the old WW start. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's let's see what we got. Come on, let me let me open it. Let me do the thing. Be a good boy. I said, be a good boy. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. Back to Hunger Game Land. Let's see what happens. Edit events. Add. Ah, please insert an event below following the patterns described below. I mean, I, yeah. Also, if you need to do this, you might want to open dev tools just to see if there's something wrong because that will log it to the console. God. Control uh, shift I. Control shift I. Look at that. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you can clear the console if you click at like the, the bin icon. <laughs> All there right. you go. And pull that down a bit. It doesn't need to be this big. And you can maybe maximize your browser window or something. That might also do it. <laughs> uh, and now if we get any errors, they should show up in the console. All right, so. We did something, yeah. So now you can click on add, you click and click on cancel it, we'll just close it, it won't really do anything. Other yeah, than that. <laughs> literally. Not going to do anything. We're just opening and closing a dialog. So yeah, <laughs> now we need to actually add the logic to it and we maybe want to start by adding the inputs. So nice. 
So our inputs are going to have to basically be the message, the death, and the killers, right? Yes, exactly. And for the deaths and the killers, we have to actually... Uh, we might have to do some parsing or something to check the format. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. We'll see. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so... Let's let's see what we could do about that. All right. So if we're in dialogue and open. So the way, you, yeah, you need to do that in there. So there's actually another thing you need to do. Uh, can we do that easily in here, or do we have to do it more differently? Because we need to modify the dialogue before we open it. Oh, I suppose we could do it after. But uh, let me just search for dialogue open. Let's see how I did it. I'm pretty sure there should be really not. It is not in here anywhere. Kagami really. says, sure. "What about the list too? The list isn't necessarily necessary." <laughs> the list is something we'll just set that to custom when we add the event internally. That's not something you yeah. should be able to set we that. Have, uh, I don't, don't think it's necessary for now. Don't need to make that too complicated. Okay, so let's go back to VS Code. We need to change one thing. We need to modify the dialogue before we. Uh, go back to VS Code. Oh, hang on. There we go. And now copy everything inside of dialog that open, like everything inclu inside the curly braces, including the curly braces. No, right. inside of the dialog that open function call. Cop sorry, copy everything inside the parentheses. All right. No, everything inside the parentheses of dialog that open, right. including the curly braces. Oh God, there we go. Without the parentheses, just the curly braces. <laughs> All right. Just uh, cut that. Cut it. Yeah. Now before dialog that open. Uh, yeah. In a separate line, preferably. We're gonna make that a separate variable. Uh... Yeah, ignore that it's being stupid. So before <laughs> then, just do uh, let's say let dialog equals and then paste this entire thing. Let dialog equals yeah and typically I put a space around the equal sign all right so yeah and then just paste the entire thing seriously yeah so all now right. this entire thing is called dialog we need to change that before we do anything else um <laughs> so how does this work again if I take a look at how the dialog is defined uh, what do we have in here? Uh, uh, wait. Uh, oh, actually, we need to... <laughs> it does all of that. Okay, okay. I think we can still add things afterwards. So, actually, before... Uh, after the equal sign, put... Take the entire thing that's in... Bra okay. Uh, go after the equal sign, just type new dialog. New dialog. No, new space dialogue with a capital D, sorry. You're making a new dialogue. And then put parentheses around the entire thing in curly braces. Uh, oh so open parentheses there and the close of parentheses at the end. Okay. And that will construct a dialogue from this template, but not open it. Okay. Also, please don't call it let dialogue with a capital D, lowercase that, please. This one? Let Oh, let dialogue variable names are lowercase, please. Uh, also, it shouldn't be the same as dialogue because that will break it. It being uppercase and won't put in this case. <laughs> right. Okay, so this will create a dialogue from this template, but not open it. We add, need to add a few more things. So uh, you can, the dialogue.open line, you can put that down. Actually, uh, delete that entire line, the dialogue.open line. Oh, seriously? Yeah, or oh, hold on. How do you open that again? How do you open a dialogue again? Let me see. <laughs> In here, is it dialogue that open? <laughs> Hacking the White House. <laughs> this is too much power. Oh no. Oh, is uh, it gonna let you type in papyrus? It did! Uh, <laughs> oh no. How dare you? Time. How dare you bring papyrus into my into my <laughs> live stream? <laughs> Horrible. The, the most disturbing font ever to come into existence. <laughs> right, yeah, we don't need the dialog to open line. We'll open it differently, now that we have a proper dialog object. <laughs> Comic Sand is fine. 
compared to Papyrus, at least. Compared to Papyrus, yeah. So yeet the dialogue dot open line. All right, it, oh, it's going bye bye. Fine, but you can delete everything that's oh, on. Oh shit! Don't do that, please. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, I think that is fine. I think it is okay. So on that line, we need to do a few things now. Uh, we need to add the input elements to it. Okay. So we need three inputs. So let's just, uh, do we need to give them names even? Mm. Is it outside of the dialogue? Is it, is it on line 490? Outside, so on line 49. Uh, first of all, indent that to the same level as the let dialogue. All right. Ooh. Ignore that. <laughs> it's been stupid. All right. And then just, let's call it, uh, we need to give them a name. So we need three inputs, right? So let's call the first one like input message or something. So let's say let input message. Oh, let input, let input, input underscore message. message. Should I give input that a... No spaces. You can't put have spaces in variable names. We need input oh, input I see. Underscores, underscores make it more readable. Input underscore message. Uh-huh. Input underscore message, Agma. Oh, OK. Otherwise, it's unreadable. <laughs> and let that be equal to document, lowercase document, document. dot create element dot create is element capital E yes and you can just hit enter it will auto complete it huh. and then uh, this needs uh, an argument so in parentheses please no space after a function name <laughs> <laughs> and just uh, in in quotes put input I typically use the no quotes but it doesn't matter lowercase input I, I guess tag names are case insensitive, but I just usually make them lowercase. So this I will see. create an input element, and you can just copy that line <laughs> two more times because we need three of them. Okay. Uh, you can just, just you can just do Control C and it will copy the entire line. No commas. Oh really? No commas. Oh, no commas. Okay. No com the commas are inside of the JSON, not outside. Oh look at that. And control. Yes, yeah, it's also another way of doing it, but I think this is easier. We need to rename that we can't declare. We can't declare input message three times. We need to rename the third and second. So I just call it input. I think they're called deaths and killers or something. Yeah, I think. So let, let me open up the page real quick. <laughs> it's. Uh... Okay, but names here don't really matter. Just so that we know what is what. Because if if you start calling them var one, var two, var three, you can have no idea what they are. So you yeah. have to give them descriptive names. Yeah. So deaths <laughs> first and then killers. It, yeah, that doesn't matter either. But yeah. Yeah. I'll just do it in that order. So input uh, deaths, input killers. Sure. No. Right. Now I have three input elements, and so that we can work with them, we have to give them IDs. That's the easiest way of doing it, I suppose. Are we keeping That's them all labeled as input up here? That's the tag name, yes. So it's an okay. input tag. Yeah. So now we need to set a few things. Uh, hold on, I can just check this for how we did that. Um... <laughs> hey, Jesus. Jesus is in the audience witnessing the chaos that's... <laughs> Kaki, we input the font family joker man. Hello, chat. I am wacky and insane. Perhaps I have lost my marbles. That's brilliant. Oh my god. All right. Uh, so we, let's go below uh, line 492. All right. And we need to set the input type to text. I believe it's the default, but we're going to say it anyway. So just do input, like input message dot type. And you can always hit tab to autocomplete or, uh, dot type and then equals text in quotes. OK. Yeah, the reason it's in quotes because it's literally the, the string text, like the character sequence TEXT and not a variable called text. Okay. And now do the same thing for the other two. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, you can just copy the line twice and then, yeah. I believe you can also do, it's, I think it's, I think it's Alt Shift and then down to call, to duplicate a line. Really? Mm, you can try that. I believe that was the key line. Hold shift down. Hold shift. Alt shift and oh. hold alt shift and press down. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, and just alt 
holding alt and pressing up or down will move a line up or down. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, then killers. So now right. these are all text inputs. We probably want to give them IDs or something so that then we know what they are. <laughs> nice, nice. So let's go in the next line and let's just do... Uh, it's, it's how do you think if you set the type like this how do you think you set the id you want to do what let id or oh wait no input underscore message dot id equals yeah exactly yeah so let's go on a new line all right so input underscore message oh careful you hit tab too early uh 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 there we, there we go the id there we go. See, it auto completes it. If you're doing something wrong, then you should be able to tell by the fact that there's no auto completion. Nice. Equals. And just let's get back to, I don't know, let's just call the ID input message as well, in quotes, obviously, but let's, it doesn't really matter as long as it's consistent. I usually use low, it's low case. And, uh, I'm, pr I'm not sure if IDs can contain spaces. I think they can, but let's not try that. <laughs> Dash or hyphen or something doesn't matter. In that case, it doesn't matter. So, and the same thing for the other two, just obviously give them different IDs. Yeah. We could probably <laughs> yeah. omit the IDs, but let's just do it with IDs, it's easier. And it doesn't really matter, like the <laughs> Because we could just say, give me the first input element and the second element. So we can actually just omit the IDs. We could do it that way. Yeah. All right, and then input oh. killers and slide on over <laughs> jesus understands not <laughs> just, just just understand jesus that the chat is it, it, you can you can edit the html <laughs> it's inject it's, html yeah that's called xss cross site scripting it's it's a nightmare but it's beautiful and maybe to make this more readable put like a few empty lines in between these things so like uh, before all of the lets and uh, there we go, very good intuition. That's exactly what I meant. And before all of the lets, maybe, like after line 489. No, nice. no, no, not like that. Not between the lets, before them. One line. Oh. Before. Just like to group everything that makes it more readable. I okay. see. Now we've set the type and ID of all the inputs. We now need to add the inputs to the dialog. Okay. So, uh, go. So, let me see what we need to add it to. Um, <laughs> might be yes Benny that is an objectively best way to send messages <laughs> I've come to make an announcement Shadow the Hedgehog is a bitch <laughs> oh god you can con consult the auto June translation for the rest of that mm -hmm. so do we want to put them next to each other or like below each other? Um, probably below each other. Okay, sure. Um, in that case, we don't need an extra element. So just go uh, at the bottom. We need to now add them. So the way you add them is there's a div inside the dialog that's just called root. So we can do dialog dot root. So just just at the bottom of all this. Yeah, yeah. So, dialogue. Uh, not like that, please. Oh. <laughs> Spelling the bridge way, it's very interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my <root>. god. <laughs> Alright, dialogue.root. And then dot append child. Dot append child. That one, yeah. And then uh, input message, basically, in parentheses, because it's a function call. Um, in... No space for parentheses. Oh my god. Input message. And then do the same thing for input deaths and input killers. That will add them to the root. And the root is like the main div, like in the body of the dialogue. I see. I see. Input deaths. And. Oh, the dialogue stuff, by the way, is a custom API that I made. So... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, you can go to it if you want to. Interesting. If you're interested, it's in at the top. It's in common slash js slash dialog dot ts. It should be, oh, and you can also collapse the server. I think now. Oh god, hang on a second. 
Oh god, the Gambian holiday is open. Oh god, the Gambian holiday is open. <laughs> Let's just collapse that. So it's in common at the very top. Yeah. Common GS dialog.ts is the file, I'm pretty sure. Aha. Uh -huh. Dialog. Oh, yeah, that is also generated code. You don't want to read that. Dialog.ts is what you want. Dear God. It's not much better, but it's a bit better. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's that's not looking like much more to me. <laughs> it is much more readable, but yeah. <laughs> it is. It is. But that doesn't make it readable. <laughs> oh God. All right. Legendary. All right. I also need to, I, by the way, for SCA++, I have a completely different dialog API that's going to replace this one because the SCA++ dialogs use the built-in dialog tag and they're draggable. These uh, are not good. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Updated, but the API shouldn't change, so it doesn't matter for this. Very delicious. Uh, okay. So now they should be in there. If you now uh, recompile and open the dialog, they should be in there. All right, well. Oh, no, out. actually. Wait, we need to open the dialog at the end of all of this. So at the end, just put dialog.open, and that's also a function, so we need to call that. Um, wait, so... Dialog.open. Yeah. And just parentheses. Okay. Do I need a comma at the end of this, or no? No, you don't need a comma at the end of this. You only need a comma inside of objects. All right, Where so i got to shut down the that. server and redo it, right? Yes. All right, there we go. And let's see. The chat is having fun with HTML and CSS. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Is this going to be how all streams go now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, <laughs> again, like, I honestly might have to get, like, a new, uh, a new, I don't like, think that's stream. Like, it's a language I'm up. <laughs> and open up the console, maybe, just in case something went wrong. What was that? Control Shift I. Control Shift I works in most browsers. I think F12 also works, but and maybe like click the bin just because to remove all that spam. Just ignore all of that. That's just warnings. All right. <laughs> add. Woo. <coughs> there we go. We need to add some CSS to this, obviously, and also it added it after the buttons, which is not why I intended. So yeah. we might have to change that, but still. <laughs> <laughs> the. Okay, so yeah, it needs a, uh, it needs. I guess there needs to be entering like like a line of space between each of them, text exactly. telling you which that's, ones to do which. That's what we're gonna do with CSS. We're gonna put them on separate lines with CSS. Also, we probably want labels in front of them. Yeah. Uh, and we want to put the labels and the inputs in one line each. So we need to add three divs, three labels, and we also put them before the buttons. Uh, yes. So how are we gonna put them before? Do I have anything that lets you like append stuff before the buttons in here? Do I have to add that first? Uh, oh God, that's an option, but I don't like it. Oh, that's an option actually. <laughs> it's horrifying, but I, I suppose that would work. Oh Hold no, up. Benny's oh. got wingdings now. <laughs> oh no. Hold on, I'm just reading through the dialogue constructor. Can I do anything in here? Like the root? <laughs> the Industrial Revolution and its consequences. <laughs> oh god. Uh... When the imposter is sus. There's a. Uh, if you go on to the secret handshake dictionary. I used an extremely valuable one of the 242 possible words for sus. Um, <laughs> you, you, could, you could find that in there. <laughs> of course, of course you did. Brilliant. Right. Mm. So I'm deliberating on how we're going to do this because there's multiple ways of doing that, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could just add something to this class here or I could have you do that that's also an option um, sure we could do that let's extend the dialogue shall we let's go to dialogue.ts uh, oh so like so, dialogue.ts yes. so the problem that we have right now is that the inputs are after the buttons right uh huh but that's because they are uh, that get added in a certain order. And the buttons get added 
bef uh, in the constructor. So we need to do that and we're gonna make it so that we can add something before them. So let's scroll up till we find the constructor. Constructor, should I just type that in? Also just search for constructor. Yeah. That's not, the, that's the one, yes. There we so, go. So we could just do something like, uh, if you scroll down a bit, where would we add that? Uh, go a bit down, where it says dialogue append child title. title. Uh, ah, I've actually done that. See, pre-description, post-description. I've already done that. See, that's just me forgetting that I've already implemented that. So uh, <laughs> we don't need to do that. Go back to uh, hungamesimulator.ts. All right. <laughs> so that problem has already been solved. Uh, <laughs> so we'll do that in a sec so that's no longer a problem but what we also okay. need to do is we need to we want labels for all the dialogues right yeah and at this point honestly we could make that a html template that would be easier so let's go to hunger game simulator.html okay and let's just scroll up a bit i put the templates at the top usually where it says these template tags copy one of them and just paste it below just any of them any of them doesn't matter so this is actually something that doesn't get to render, but you can reference that from JavaScript and copy it. All right. We do this in HTML. It's easier than creating HTML tags in JavaScript, which is a pain. Just paste that somewhere below. All right. Paste it. Uh, now delete, uh, now rename the ID to uh, add events template or something. Add uh, I events. usually put hyphens in between, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll we'll just hyphens. Add. Add events template. All right. And now delete the entire div inside. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, just delete that and we'll. Now here we ask So, uh, first of all, we're going to start off with a div. Of course. Just, yeah, a div. Uh, you put everything in a div. And now we need three rows, right? So we need three more divs. Oh, God. Okay. Actually, just make one div for now because there's stuff inside the div. Yeah. So I uh, make one inside the div. Oh, okay. Nice. And now this is going to be a row. So let's give it a name, shall we? Uh, let's give it a class. So let's just call it, uh, no, the class has to be an HTML attribute inside of the opening div tag. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Let's just call it, uh, Add events dialog row or something. We're going to have to change that. Events dialog row. We're going to have to write some CSS after this. Oh, boy. You did it again. That's an interesting way to spell dialog. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like that's the way I've always spelled dialog, and I'm just realizing it now. I think that because in programming, you usually use, like, uh, American spelling. So, like, program with one M instead of program, MME. Like, I didn't even know that there were two spellings of dialogue. This is interesting. God. This is very interesting. I think it's because, like, Google and Microsoft it's accept same thing both with American epilogue, and by the way. spellings. Yeah. It's the same thing with epilogue, by the way. Wait, Control, really? Please. Yeah. I've only ever done epilogue with a U-E at the end. <laughs> that's, I think, I'm pretty sure that's the British spelling, but it could be wrong. Let's, let me look that up. That, I feel like that one's just epilogue <laughs> with a U-E. I'm pretty sure there's the one with that. Oh, maybe I'm just being confused because that just just happens. Because I know there are words that have you at the end in you at the end in one system and not in the other one. But I might just be wrong because I I'm kind of because I don't really use that word too often. <laughs> like when you ever <laughs> write, write epilogue. Oh God. Alternative form epilogue. Okay, it just says alternative spelling, so I don't know. <laughs> Same thing with. Dialogue. Oh, good. Uh, uh, <laughs> we do a little. Okay, yeah, it says uh, in, when, in dialogue it says alternative forms US dialogue without the UE. So Interesting. I suppose both are used, but in computing dialogue is usually without the UE. Well, that is fascinating. At least, yeah. So. Uh, at events dialog row, and inside of there we can put a label and an input. So we can put a label in there. A label, uh, like still inside a of the div? Tag, a label tag inside of the div. All right. No, no, no. A tag, not an attribute, a tag. Just inside of the div. 
Oh. <laughs> All right. And what am I gonna label. call it? Label. Label. You can just hit tab. Label four, it tells you, and that four will be the ID of the input. So we're going to call that the first one is going to be what? The input messages. Just yeah. call them input messages. Input message dot ID? No, just input message. This is not JavaScript. This is the name, the ID. Okay. All right. The ID itself. And inside of the label tag, you need to put the name of the label. So let's just put message in there. <laughs> uh, please, just the text. That's text. So uppercase message, maybe. God. Looks nicer. Okay, okay. so uh, nice. below the label tag, we now need to put the actual input. <laughs> All right. I don't think uh, the script tags work, I hope. Agma, did you see a pop up in your chat window? No, no, I did not. Script tags are, are thankfully sanitized. Otherwise, yeah, I, I would be doomed if, the, if those actually were. would be doomed that I'd have to time you out if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> um. We need an input tag here. Um, okay. Input. So input. Uh, you can just type input without the like less than sign and it will auto complete it for you. All right, well. It's better <laughs> to do it that way because it will insert attributes that we might need. Input and then hit tab. There we there go, we see go. type text is fine. And uh, next to that, put name equals input message and then ID equals input message, like inside the tag itself. All right. Name equals and then what? Input message and ID equals input message. And then I don't think we will need the name since this is not really a form, but it doesn't matter. And put a space before the name, maybe. Uh, I don't think it's required, but it looks nicer. Where at? Before name. A space before name. Where is name at? Oh, there. Name at the beginning of the yeah, There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, so that's that. And now copy the entire add events dialog row div twice. Add events for. Don't have to do like a slash events too? A slash input? No, input is a dialog that has no closing tag. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is a type of closing tag. You can put a slash. You can put. A, you can put a closing tag, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So now I'm just duplicating yeah, this twice. twice. Yeah. Just. And guess what you have to do now. I wonder. Input. Deaths. Mm -hmm. And then message I'll replace with. Deaths. And then I'll show you something cool. Just okay. select message and hit Alt D. I think it's Alt D. Or is it Control D? I think it's Control D, maybe. It will select two of them, and now type deaths. Uh, oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Nice. And, and then, then same thing here, I suppose. Here we have killers. You could also do Control D again, but yeah. Control D. Oh God. God, get out of there, get out of there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't, don't you, there we go. Um, and then here we go. Killers and then control D. Okay, never mind. And then killers. All right. Uh, maybe close that, yes. Yeah. So that should do it. Uh, hold on. Is there anything else we need to do here? I don't think there is. I mean, we need to do more stuff, but that's going to be CSS. That's all the HTML done. Save the file, don't forget about that. Yep. Uh, and now copy the ID of the template. The ID of the template, all right. And go back to the Hunger Games Simulator and uh, all the way to the top of the file. All the templates are there. Oh, like top of everything? Go all the way up, yeah. All right. See where the, there where it says let game character template and so on on line 18 and so on, just put it at the end of the block of lines at line 18. At the end, just do let. Oh, at in, yeah. So let, <coughs> and then this. Uh, that's going to be the name. You can call it that, but you have to replace the hyphens with underscores now. So right. add event template, sure that works. <laughs> okay. And then follow the pattern, just equals, and then in 
parentheses, and then we need HTML template element in angle brackets. The oh, is angle really brackets. Good. Okay. Okay. HTML template element. Because we need to tell it that this is a template element. Browsing out document. document get element by ID. Get and before element. Says something, yes, I still use doc get element by ID. I almost never use query selector. Parenthesis. Yeah, guess what you put in here. Paste. There we go. In, in quotes, but yes. Oh. Otherwise, you will, uh, will do add minus events minus templates minus template. There we go. And then at the end, put dot, con. dot content. So that will grab that template. All right, it's it's getting grabbed. All right, so now what? Now go back to the add events function. All right. There okay. we go. And now you can actually delete uh, everything after, like let input message, all of that stuff can go now because that's in the template. So scroll down a bit this? and delete all everything uh, from let input message uh, up to before dialog open. Seriously? Yeah, we just did that in HTML. Oh. That's easy. <laughs> all right. You need that. Get yeet. And remove the, okay, and now in the dialog template, Actually, before the let dialog, we now need to create a copy of the template. Okay. Oh god, is that gonna work? I want to see if that works. Uh, well, actually, I think if you click the button, it might do alert. Yeah, but if you don't click it, it shouldn't. Hmm. God. <laughs> there's, there's the buttons. Oh my god. <laughs> click it. Really? Don't ask why. Don't question it. Just click. <laughs> oh my right. god. Okay, so before let dialog, we need to copy the thing. So just do let, uh, I don't know, what, what should we call that? Uh, inputs or something, the name doesn't matter. Okay. Inputs equals. And then uh, I think you need to do add dialog template. Uh, add events template, that's the one. Add events template, that's what we called it. There's underscores. You right? can just oh, do yeah, there that. It is down arrow and just tab and then i think it's dot clone node or something um, dot clone node like that is it dot clone or is it dot, dot clone copy? node uh hold on oh i'm in the wrong file uh dot clone yes and you have to put after that it's a function <laughs> call so how do we do function calls <laughs> um parentheses yeah and inside of there you have to put true <laughs> okay that makes a deep copy, meaning it goes into the thing and copies everything that's in there and so on and so on. Okay. And now inside of the dialog template, that's the, that's the uh, whole thing with the, with the, you can just anywhere go and put pre-description colon inputs. Pre-description? I just called it pre-description because I don't know, you could, could have called it before description, but pre-description is short. Okay, pre-description. Colon and then inputs. Inputs. So that like will that. put that before uh, pre description or post description. I forgot. I think it's pre description. Hold on. <laughs> yes, pre description. It should actually not be called pre description, but rather pre buttons because that's what it actually is. But yeah, naming doesn't matter. Just save and restart the server. Now the buttons should be, or the input should be before the buttons because otherwise it looks ugly. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, control C and WW start. And let it compile. And now let's we're, we're, let's dive in. All right, so there we go. Control let's see. I yeah. You. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Right. Good idea. Nice add. Oh. <laughs> oh. They're they're all next to each other. Yeah, the CSS is a bit wonky. We'll fix the rest. So the rest is CSS now. But look so, at that. So now you type in your doobity doops and you type in your doodly doops and your. Pretty yeah. much. Add. <laughs> now we need to add CSS. So the first thing we need to do is we can go to. So there's a separate style sheet for the Hunger Games Simulator. It's in, uh, in www.css. All right, let's see. Let's go to www and CSS. I think it's CSS, tools. 
tools. And then how can get it .scss. That's the red one. Ah. Yeah, .scss. That's the one you want to change. Okay. Okay. And now, literally anywhere, uh, you could just do it uh, above, the, like below the form or something. It doesn't really matter. We need to add a new rule for the thing. Yeah, yeah, put it there. I'll reorder it later. It's fine. No, it's what's it called? We need to get the ID of the thing. So let's go back to the HTML template, maybe. Uh, ha, 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 ha. So what style is that in a div in there? So the the add events dialog. Oh, actually, hmm. Uh, we don't... actually we need to style the outer div. So uh, in the outer div, we need to give that a class. Okay. That one. So let's call that add events dialog content or something. Doesn't matter. All right. Add um, dash events dash what? Add events dialog content or something. Dialog without UE and then content. <laughs> Great. Copy that ID. All right. And then we need to make a CSS rule for that. Nice. Here we go. Where are you? Okay. Should I uh, just paste that? Correct. And now, yeah, I think you know CSS. So in braces. Yep. Oh, let me put the brace up on the top here. Exactly. Nice. And now we need to. I think the easiest way is just give it a uh, display flex and flex direction column. Display flex. Display colon flex semicolon. Yeah, yeah. Display flex. All right. Semicolon. Semicolon. And then flex direction column in this case. Flex direction column. Quite and just like with TypeScript, if you modify the CSS files, you have to recompile them and restart the server. Hooray. <laughs> All right. Let's make sure everybody's saved. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Shut you down. Restart. All right, I finally feel like I'm starting to get the hang of some of this uh, basic stuff that's going on. All right. It's it's all it's all built into me. All right. Here oh. We go. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Let's uh. Let's see what happens. Edit, oh, add. Bad. Nothing has changed. That's brilliant. <laughs> Why? Did you recompile the did? Yes. Okay. So let's. In this case, we need to debug this. So what we do is open Dev Tools and oh no no no, no no. Wait, what? We how do are we supposed to debug HTML uh, from anywhere outside the browser? So open that back up. This is true. This is true. Open the dialog back up and open DevTools. Okay, here we go. Maybe please maximize the browser window. <laughs> like, okay, make that a bit bigger. Open right. the dialog now. And then we need to select that element. So in DevTools, click like the top left thingy. Inspector? No, left of that. That. And now. Select that, for instance. Yeah, just click on that for now. And now you're in the tree, in the DOM tree. Like, uh, just select the add events dialog content. Let's see, where does it say that? Aha. Oh, wait. There you go. Just click on that. <clears throat> and now let's see why this is a display column. So to the right of that, you have all the CSS that applies to this element. OK. <laughs> Just scroll down a bit till we find our rule that we added. <laughs> okay, that would be a start. It's not there. And then, ah, I know what we did wrong. You can tell the rule that we added is not there. And you know why it's not there? Because this is a class, not an ID. So we need to put dot not uh, hash in the CSS. Oh, really? Okay. So, like right it's here, just do dot instead of hashtag? Yeah, because it's, an, uh, it's a class, not an ID. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, and then save and do it all over again. Yeah, restart the server, go back to the page, and so on and so on. And if that doesn't right. fix it, just slap it and import it at the end. <laughs> all 
Alright. Come on, come on. There we go. Jesus oh, yeah. Christ. Okay, now we, we actually need to do post description, not pre description. But we're close. <laughs> and the spacing between these is ludicrous. Yeah, it kind of is. It is. Let's bring up uh, the tree once again. Um, like, bring up DevTools once more. All right. And let's select one of them. Right, and now let's click on one of the divs and let's see what's going on there. Okay. Okay, uh, maybe not one that we can scroll up so that we can actually see the one you're selecting on the page. It is okay, not letting me. Instead, then select, yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. go back to the DOM and in the DOM, hover over the div. Where'd it go? Okay. Down, down, not up, down, down. Uh -huh. Okay, hover over, hover over the div, not the input. Yeah. Okay, then it shows you the box. See that? So yeah. for some reason, there's just... Ah, there's a gap of 2 rem that explains it. See in the in the CSS where it says gap 2 rem? Yeah. Uh, click on the... Just uh, disable that. Uh. Okay, that's not what we want. So click on that again. So <laughs> uh, maybe what we want is... No, what? Click on that. Yeah. Um... Padding? <clears throat> no, not the padding. Good God, no. So yeah, <laughs> disable the gap. And then we need... The, then it's fine, but also we probably want these to be left aligned. So you can actually, uh, if you scroll down a bit... Yeah. In there. You can actually find our rules somewhere. I hope. I hope. Where's our rule that we added? Okay, scroll back up. Where the where the hell is our rule? Where did it go? Oh, I remember now. Okay, never mind. We we click on the. Hmm. <laughs> How are we gonna do this? I suppose we need to add edit two things. So in here, that's the rows themselves, right? So inside the rows, we probably want all of the boxes to be aligned. So if you can click in that CSS box somewhere, just click somewhere in it. Um. No, in, well, it's in the rule, or is that, uh, just click now inside the rule. Inside like, the rule. Like now, here somewhere? Now inside the CSS. Oh. Click inside the rule somewhere once. Okay. Now you can add something. So let's add something like width. Uh, no, actually, it needs to be for the labels, though. So it's 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 uh, too annoying to do in here. Go back to VS Code. Let's do it there. <laughs> Okay, so inside the add events dialog content, we gotta do a few things. So first of all, inside of that, we need to would you, okay, just type div and add a rule for div. Div. We don't have divs in there, so and and, and curly braces. All right. So that will modify all the divs in there, and we just want to get the, set the gap to zero. All right, gaps and gap style to zero. Gap to zero. Just like that. Colon. Colon. It's a rule. There we go. Okay. Also, maybe put a line break before that. No, inside the, the curly braces. Oh. Nice. Okay. Hold on, I got Colored green important. I'm not seeing it. Just putting a warning in chat for the people who get too adventurous. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, there we go. Is it green now? Yeah, the whole chat's green. Okay. Let's see if it's still readable. If it's not, I'm going to time them out. No, it's still readable, but like, it, it is green. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna set it back to white though because this is awful. <laughs> it's a it's 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 a epic hacker uh, style. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, put a semicolon at the uh, semicolon at the end of that thing, of like course. after gap zero. All right. 
right? Okay. So now in here, uh, we need to add do a few more things. So this is like these are the separate rows, right? Yeah. So we want to set the in the width of the label to something constant. So we'll just put label. 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 And the game curly braces. Okay. And in here, let's do like width. I'm not sure what will be enough. Like. A hundred. No, no, no. We're going to do it inside of in, in rem. So let's do like 10 rem. What does rem stand for? Rem is relative em, and em is the width of an m, basically, more or less. Interesting. 10 rem, not 10. R-E-M. 10 R-E-M. Oh, I have to put that in, too? Okay. All right. Uh, okay, that will make the labels wide, and, hof and uh, hopefully they're going to have the same width after that, right? So that the input boxes line up. Yeah. Now we also want to have them left aligned. So that we have to do that in the parent. So let's inside of add event style or content. Let's just say, I never know which one it is. I think it's either align items or justify content. I never know which one it is. Let me try that real quick. <coughs> uh, actually, we can go back to the browser and try that. Let's go back to the browser. All right. Also, I'm maybe just, I'm just gonna open a new one because I don't remember which. No, just click on the browser window. Just click on Firefox. It will bring it to the front. Yeah, oh my well. God! Close that. Close that. Close it. <laughs> Do not active Windows work. Click. There we go. Basic. Jesus Christ! Close yeah. all of that. There's there's a million of them. Why are you opening it new? Do you know how window managers work, Agma? Do you know they can click on an open window in your taskbar to bring it into the foreground? Oh, Do you know God. that? Oh my god. Um, Click on Firefox in the taskbar. It's not that hard. Well, what do you... Yeah, but there's nothing anymore. I closed out of all of them. Okay, then. Did you really, though? I thought I did. But it's okay. Because here's Fine. one. Okay, and now let's reuse that one. How about that? And also maximize it so we have more space to work with okay let's do the same thing let's take a look at the, what we have here okay oh did you we you, no this is still broken we didn't change anything we haven't recompiled yet but that's fine we, no 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 go yeah. back we want to try something else here we want to make this left aligned so we need to figure out how open dev tools all right because i know it's either justify contents or align items i never know which one it is so we're going to find that out now and let's uh, select the div Okie dokie, here we go. Click somewhere in the middle, and then let's go to the parent div of that, the one that says add events style or content. Let's click on that. Nice. And inside of the CSS rule, let's click on the top where it says element. That's just the style of this element. Just click in there, and let's try adding, uh, let's start with justify content, colon, and then let's do flex start. Okay. okay, that's not it. Let's try align items. All right. Align items. Uh, let's just uh, just use the down arrow and let's just tab through them to see what we have. Baseline is a start that might work. Let's go down is the another one. Maybe flex start is what I usually go with, I think. First baseline? Flex start, try that one. Sure, that will do. So we now know it's align items flex start. So let's go back to the CSS file and <laughs> add align items flex start. That's how you can quickly try something out if you don't know what you're doing. All right. And uh, so produce it just for content align items. So yeah. Align items flex start. Okay, that should be more or less it. So let's save that. <clears throat> All right. Um, restart the server and everything and please don't open up the browser window <laughs> all right okay and then i guess just refresh then yes correct there we go a okay now we can see that 10 rem is absolutely ludicrous so let's click on uh, the row let's select the row 
Okay. And it should say ten rems somewhere on the right. Well, that's in uh, that's in content where we said the ten, isn't it? No, no, no. Uh, the rule for it's is for row. So let's. Uh, or is it for row? <laughs> no, it's for label. Click on the label. The rule is on the label. Where's label at? Here? Oh, there we go. Yep. It says it is. set it. You like? Let's try two. <laughs> two is not enough. Let's try three. All right. Three, I think, is fine, right? Yeah, that works. Fine. So let's set it to three. And also, um, typically, I think labels are right aligned, if I'm not mistaken. So let's try. If, let's click in the in the in the box there with, with the labels in the CSS. No, yeah. in the CSS. Um, that one. No, no, no. Above, above, up, up. This one. No, below that. Below that. That one. Yeah. <laughs> click on that one. Okay. What? We'll add something else in here. Add something else. Yeah. Let's add text uh, align. Is it? I think it's text alignment, right? Or text align? Text align. Let's do right. Like that? Yeah. That should have done something, but it... Yeah, it did. Ah, it does something, but it's not lining up, really. Not really. Uh... What the Justify? hell? Justify? No, no, no. Um... That is very strange. That is very, very strange. I mean, it's just doing it to the killers one. It's not doing it to all of them. Yeah, that's very weird. Why is it doing that? Because we're, cause, cause we're in the label just for the deaths row right now. No, no, no. We're in, manipulating the rule, not the element. Uh, Could you uh, click on the select thing and then in the on the page hover over deaths or killers? Hover over that and it will show you the bounds. Okay. No, just over killers. No, just over killers. The text. Okay. Um. No, deaths. <laughs> Hover over deaths. Yeah. Okay. It seems there's some weirdness going on with this. Um, is this some Jesus Christ? Why is that? <laughs> I hate HTML. I hate web programming. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's always the nuclear option. Oh no. Just slap it in another div and then set the width on that and make it <laughs> right line. Is isn't that like the cursed strategy that, that everyone hates? Just like just yes. add in another div. Yes. But how do you make a, a label left right aligned? HTML label right. That's good. Every everyone's using papyrus in there right now. <laughs> It's disturbing. <laughs> oh, fucking label is a fucking inline element. Oh, fuck you. Okay, maybe that's it. Let's go to the rule where it says text align and maybe don't do revert layer, but just do right. <laughs> All right. Let's see, where's right? There we go. Right. And let's try adding display block. Display. Oh, display block. <laughs> block Ruby. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, that didn't change anything. <sighs> My God. <laughs> We've set a width, for goodness sake. Like, this should not be happening. <clears throat> Maybe it's being... No, it's not being overridden, because if it if it were being overridden, it would be, like, there would be a strike through here, so... And it's not stricken through, so... Um... So, I don't know, is it inline block? Let's try inline block. Display inline. inline. Let's see, inline block. It changed a little bit. Hold on, something changed out there. Tab through them a bit. Like, just go through all of them slowly. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um. I think the one at the top. No, go up, 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 up. Inline just block? Keep just keep going up. Maybe they'll align sometime. No, no, okay. Okay, we're going to put them in another div. I don't care. 
We're gonna <laughs> option, just go back to the CSS. Alright. Okay, first of all, let's remember to change the width to like three rem is what we had, I think. Yeah. Let's it on. <clears throat> now we need to go back to do the HTML. We actually need to change the template and just put... But do we really need to put another... Like, I think there's a better way of doing this. Like, come on. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, this this can't be it, surely. Let me just change or check this. Do we have labels in somewhere? <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, let's just put... Uh, let's just put divs in there. I don't care. <laughs> so put a div, wrap the labels in a div each. Okay. Um, every single one of them? Just the labels, but yes. Oh, just the labels. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, divs. This is web programming. Divs within divs within divs. Isn't that just absolutely delicious? Here. Something definitely. <laughs> uh, oh, that didn't... is not quite right. There we go. That's enough. Close it did that. automatically for me. Look at that. And now I'll just do that for the other two. Yep. All right. Div. No, don't okay. put it there. If you, uh, shift Control right arrow. You can select a word at a time and then copy that. Oh really? If you hear hold, yeah, shift control and then select. Shift control. And then, and then uh, right arrow. Uh, okay, and then right arrow. Boom. Keep pressing right arrow and you'll see what happens. Oh god. Oh god. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, it's I'm tomorrow. I'm trying to teach you how to use editors. Go to the beginning of a line, hold shift and control and keep pressing right arrow slowly and see what happens. Control shift. And keep pressing right arrow, holding control and shift. Right arrow, right arrow. Oh, look at that. There you go. That's what I'm trying to get to do. Interesting. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't that need all that right now. No, no, right now, but when you insert the next div tag, instead of deleting the closing tag, you can select it, cut to the end of the line, paste, that's faster. So I can essentially... Go, yeah, if you go to the next label, or to the, to the first label, I suppose, because you're... Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just go before the label. Yeah, and then... No, directly before it, not just anywhere before it. Just type div, hit tab. All right, div... Okay, no, not like that. Delete the tab. <laughs> Select the closing tag. Select, not delete. <laughs> right, I'm trying to get it to make, make it, I'm trying to teach you how to be fast at this, you know? <laughs> and I'm without your mouse, obviously. Okay, okay. Go, Shift. In, please, go into the div tag. That's where the cursor was. Yeah. Before the start of that. Okay. For the start of the closing tag. Okay. Select <laughs> like the closing tag with your keyboard. There you go. And then copy. Yeah, but make sure you only copy the closing tag and not the opening, like the left hand. It's not letting me do, not do the other Yeah, one. I to then let go of control and just keep pressing shift. Oh, okay. Let's see. And then just shift. Look at that. Cut to the end of the line, and you can do that by pressing the end key. So cut, end, cut, paste. And paste. Look at that. Magic. There we go. Do that a hundred more times, and you'll get good at it. <laughs> right. That, that, I can see that being pretty convenient down the road. Hmm. Okay. So Save now, hypothetically. Hypothetically, it still won't work because we need to change the, C the CSS. So let's go back. First thing we need to do is change that div to the row. So, actually, okay. no. Uh, yeah, uh, that first div is fine. You can leave that, actually. But inside the div, you need to put another div now. Oh, good. Very good. Not inside the label. There's no divs inside the labels. Ah. Uh, and then we'll 
go right here. Let's say div. <laughs> we'll say bracket. We will say. And in here, what we're gonna do in here, we're gonna do the width in here, I suppose. So do width three rem. Let's actually move that into here. Uh, and let's see, if, let's see if we get. It can also hold things. alt. That's yeah. That's one way of doing it. But uh, there's also another way to move a line. You yeah. can uh, keep pressing alt and then use up or down. Keep pressing up and then use up or down. Hold alt down. Alt press alt and then hold and then press up or down. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's nice. nice. It also works. Uh, so how are we gonna do this? Uh, the entire label. I think you can read that now. We don't need the label anymore in here. Oh shit. I actually got a JavaScript notification from that one. Oh no. All right. <laughs> in that case, that works. Stop doing that. Interesting. <laughs> Apparently they weren't, they weren't thorough enough. So that is, now I will uh, retract my statement. This is actually a problem now. Okay. Great. I wonder why that worked and in the, in the previous ones didn't. Because apparently the people who wrote this were clever enough to sanitize script tags, but not fucking unload. Hmm. Like, oh god. All right. Like, well, this is a moron. Like seriously. <laughs> like, if you want this to be a feature and not a bug, do it properly. Because I'm convinced that they sort of even think of this as a feature because they haven't disabled it altogether. Because disabling HTML injection is very easy. You change in the HTML to inner text, and that's it. <laughs> I will paste it as text that does HTML. Wow. So yeah, it's four characters. They need to change to disable all of this. God so whoever wrote this is more on probably. Uh, it's Thanks, proprietary, man. unfortunately. So uh, I can't. Well, oh god, are we going to really down? Are we really going to go down the rabbit hole where I make a, a chat log? <laughs> I could do that. I mean, I could. The the the, the little the little chat thingy is just like floating here yeah. if i if i just like hit the delete button it would probably just go away <laughs> yeah yeah but uh we probably want a proper one that actually works so do do you want me to make one of these <laughs> so you can use one that actually works <laughs> yeah i mean if you can find a way to get it to actually be downloadable to... look into that that shouldn't be too complicated i mean i can't download this one because I, the source code is closed otherwise it fix that because this is an easy fix. So I'm just going to make one myself, I suppose, probably. Beautiful. It wouldn't be too complicated. Yeah. Uh, another project. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. Anyway. Um... anyway. So uh, let's go back to this. You can delete. We're not done. Delete the label thingy. We don't need to label it all anymore. We need to change it because this is not a joke if we can execute arbitrary JavaScript. The CSS is fine, the JavaScript really isn't. Because someone could just go in and steal your cookies and if your cookie if your cookies have tokens or login data, they now have your tokens and login data. So this is not a joke. HTML injection is not a joke. Um or at least JavaScript injection isn't. Hey, CSS usually doesn't do much. <laughs> right. So inside that div, uh we want to do something. Like, <clears throat> you know, you could always just do display flex and flex direction column and align items flex end, and that should do it. So, well, actually, do flex direction row and justify content flex end. So, flex direction. Display, yeah, yeah, flex direction row, row and. Ah, <sighs> my god. <laughs> You can just reload the chat window, Agma, you know, theoretically. Good. What do you mean? Okay. Ah, Benny. Okay, okay. Let, me, let me fix that real quick. This is horrible. <laughs> if, we're, um, if I make my own version of this, I am going to enable some sort of, of CSS, but only like either limited or so that only mods can use it or something like that. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that might be fun because it is, it is cool. That, that you could do like these things uh, it's just so within, it's so tragic yeah. that the uh probably like this with inherit that might work or unset it's either inherit or unset i never know did that fix it yep there you go <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> very special. Very, very special. All right. Let, let's right. Uh, let's let's finish uh, this up because uh, this flex. the what display flex in the display and then flex and uh, let's do justify content flex end or something. Yeah, I think in this case it will be justify content, but I might be wrong. No, actually, just... if it's raw, it will still be align items flex end. I think it should still be align items, not just the content. Uh, let's do align items instead. Let's try that. All right. Align items. Aha. And then where? Flex end. Flex end. Okay. Okay. That should do it. I hope. That should, that should do it. Let's try that. Recompile. Reopen sure. the same browser window, please. Everybody <laughs> saved. Control C. You have to actually select that. Yes, there we go. Yep, and then WW. <laughs> Very nice. Come on. And then we're going back in. And we're getting out of here. Get me out of here. There we go. Now let's mm. see what happens. It's minus out of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Something is setting a height, I think. Let's select one of these text boxes and take a look at that. Oh my god. All right. Th it's this high. is probably the last thing we can do on the stream because we've sure, been going for two hours now. <laughs> uh, I think it's the row actually. That's oh, let's select the div around the in. There's a div around the. In oh no, it's just around the. Why is this so big? Hmm. Interesting. Select like one of the add events dialog row divs. Oh wait, hang on. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, sure. Uh, why is it so big? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's just. I you know what. I think we're good for now. I'm gonna take a look at that later. But I think you mostly made a dialog, so. There we go. It's. It's mostly fine. <clears throat> I think it's a gap that's broken, but we'll see. Yeah. And I'm sure all the people who are suddenly looking up the Hunger Games simulator are going to be very happy to see that things are being uh, done on this. I'll implement the JavaScript for this later. That's it's really easy. So I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure for you it will be. <laughs> it shouldn't be too complicated because we yeah. basically have all of the functionality already when you upload events. It just adds them, so we can just copy the code from that. Yeah. <sighs> Well, right. we have to, do, have to pass the deaths and kills and make sure that the syntax is correct, so that's something. But yeah, it shouldn't be too complicated. Yeah, exactly. All right, cool. Well, well let's commit that, shall we? The what? Let's commit that. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a good actually, idea. We want to commit these things separately, so um, let's just uh, quit out of the server, so Control c yep. clear that. And then you can do get status to see what changed. Get status. Woo, look at all it's that. what we have here. Uh, we probably want to commit these separately. So let's uh, do git add server. Git add server. And then git add www slash html. Slash html? Slash html. It uh, adds everything in the, uh, hold on, actually, uh, we didn't want to do that, so we do get status again. <laughs> because we're going to have to try that in. We're going to we're basically want to do two separate commits because that's more orderly. So one for the pages, one for the home game simulator. I see. So careful now. Don't hit enter <laughs> before I say it. Because if you hit enter before I say it, you're going to delete all the changes. So do <laughs> get restore dash dash staged. And the dash dash staged is important. All right. Get. Get restore, what? Dash, restore. Dash, 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 dash. Staged. staged, staged, and then space, and then uh, www slash html slash tools, and then hit tab and it should auto complete it. Okay, it didn't do it. Just do slash slash right. simulated. Start typing Hunger Games simulated and hit tab. There we go. So what that does is, you see how uh, the the files in green there, that's the change, change you've staged for the commit. 
git restore dash dash staged removes them from the commit but keeps the changes. If you do it without the staged, it will yeet the changes. And they're gone, irrecoverably. So, remember to include the dash dash staged. Okay, hit enter. Yes. <laughs> okay, git status again. Okay. okay. And now we only want to add uh, the header. So that's www slash srv slash header html. Let's git add that. Git add and then www slash srv. There we go. Enter. And now git status just in case. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, now we can commit that. Just do git commit and then space dash m and wait until i hit enter wait until i say hit enter so and in quotes i uh, maybe do single quotes because just if you do double quotes the shell might get weird so in, in in single quotes let's just do added national and secret handshake page or something and so that we know what we change, just put at the beginning of the commit message, but www in, uh, in square brackets. So that, that way we know it affects that. I usually capitalize the www and the first word of the commit. <laughs> all right. Oh God, not like that. I, like capitalize all three w's, please. And also the, square, the opening square bracket. There we go. Okay, Beautiful. sure. I enter on that. That commits that. Now, if you do git status, it will say uh, your branch is ahead of origin dev by one commit, meaning you have one commit and your local dev branch that is not in origin, which is the remote. I see. I see. Now uh, you can do uh, git add www that will add all pending changes in www. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and you don't have to do git status in between, but that way you can check what you did. Yeah, okay. Oh, I see. Very nice. And then again, git commit, but this time let's do a different commit message like added uh, something like add events dialog to, to, to yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. We've added the add events dialog, but. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay. Maybe capitalize events too if you capitalize the i. <laughs> it really doesn't matter, but it looks nicer that way. Uh huh. Two All Hunger right. Games. Just two Hunger Games, but also works, I suppose. Got him. And actually, for the Hunger Games simulator, I this I have started putting a. Uh, HGS instead of www at the beginning because it's just its own separate thing by now. <laughs> so you can also <laughs> put that in it. Like instead of www, you can put HGS capitalized. Capital Why w. not? Yeah, because it's, it's it's really its own separate thing by now. So and you can hit enter and then push it. Get push. All right. Get pushed. And now it's in the repository. It's not, obviously not yet on the server because there's the dev branch and everything. But yeah, it's in the repository and I'm going to take care of the rest later delicious all right very nice as cockyween said you fixed the website and we fixed your chat god damn it no we, <laughs> we just we just realized the biggest vulnerability in the chat <laughs> that's apparently yeah. existed the whole like past like two years that i've used that thing jesus so, christ who made this like what in common great this. absolute Seems genius like design huh yeah yeah, the first rule, I've said this 10 times before, but the first rule of working with user input is you sanitize user input. Yeah, really. <sighs> All right. Well, in that case, I guess we shall uh, end the old stream now. Goodbye, yeah. Twitch first. I GG think we got Twitch. a lot of work done today, at least. Exactly. Yeah, yeah we, we, got, we got a ton of work done. Maybe um, in the future you'll be able to help me with the website and everything. A bit yeah, more. exactly. No, I'm getting there. It's 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 all coming together. Oh shit, Benny Benny gave me a two dollars again. Oh. Now, look at that. <laughs> again, Benny's the only one who's figured out how to do that. 
and really <laughs> you just click, yeah, yeah. i mean you just click on the like little dollar sign below the chat box and you click on that i suppose oh, I think that's i've never donated to anyone on youtube so i wouldn't know um but i think that's how it works <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> hi and by davono canabo oh god <laughs> we're too late for that now unfortunately this is very tragic yep this is the end of the two hours right here <sighs> but yeah all right good stuff very nice